Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your monthly forecast horoscope for December 2021. And this is going to be covering love, wealth, and health. And thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And also, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Uh, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com and we're doing a holiday giveaway. So stick with me till the end for all those details. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius, let's jump right in here. All right, so what's happening in my Sagittarius' romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Sagittarius' romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Sagittarius' career and finance. For December 2021, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign, Sagittarius. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these Sagittarius make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. All right, let me set these aside here. We're first going to talk about love, and then we're going to talk about career and finance, and then health and wellness. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, and also, I want to find out what's going on with your love interest feelings, Sagittarius. So how does my Sagittarius' love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does this person feel about them romantically? Give me two cards for their love interest feelings, and also... Uh, one card for advice for Sagittarius romantic love life for December. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's lay this down. Okay, so we can see that for the first card right here, we have the Five of Pentacles. It looks like, it seems like the start of the month, it looks like you may be leaving someone out in the cold. They're having a sense of loss when it comes to the situation. Um, they just, they're kind of like going their own way, it looks like, because they don't know what else to do. Okay, so let's keep going. There seems to be all this defensive energy and you're putting a wall up around the situation because you're just like, I am not trying to get hurt again. You know what, it's been a long time. There's been a lot of growth in my situation, a lot of issues in here, and I, I'm confused and I don't want to get hurt. Nine of Wands energy. By the way, this is gonna be the first half of the month, the second half of the month, and the last part of the month for December. So full card looks like you're gonna go for someone new. Full card, okay? The full cards coming out could represent someone new coming in. So let's just see. Five talks about some kind of challenge or change when it comes to what you want because not wanting to be naive about the situation. Okay, I'm just gonna have my Sagittarius is romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my, Sag my Sagittarius romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Sagittarius career and finance for December 2021. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see here. Okay, so there's a conversation about to happen about the fact that they love you and they want some improvements and changes here. So they want to talk to you about the fact that, that they feel left out in the cold. Because they love you, I know that you feel like you have to keep your wall up. You're going to get hurt here. It's like you're like, I'm not trying to be naive about the situation. I'm ready for some improvements and changes. So this person's like, I need to take a risk here because I need to have a conversation with them because I need them to know how much I love them. Even though they have their wall up, even though they're defensive here about getting hurt from me, I just want them to know that I love them because it's a loving conversation which will cause some improvements and changes. So let's see how Sagittarius, how your love interest feels about you. you Sagittarius, your love interest wants to reconcile with you. They want to heal the connection. They want to renew the connection. Sagittarius, they know that something needs to be resolved here with an ex-love interest. Hmm. Let's see what your, um, your advice is. You're going to have to take control of this. You're going to have to assert yourself and take control of this and, and take charge of the situation to bring things into balance and having a conversation about this. Okay, let's keep going here, Sagittarius. So the next card is it does look like you will do a lot of deep, heavy soul searching in the middle of the month here. 
You're gonna look at this, you're gonna examine this. I feel like you're examining how to overcome your delays and challenges and bring harmony to your situation. I feel like there's somebody who definitely feels brokenhearted about you. And we see they're gonna communicate that with the Eight of Wands energy. They're gonna communicate the fact that they, they feel like you hurt them. Okay, so we see there's a decision that's made here because of delays and challenges and wanting a reconciliation. Or for some of you, this person's gonna take a risk to communicate. There has been a lot of, uh, a lot of deep soul searching, a lot of isolation in making a decision. We see that the decision has been delayed because of heartache, but then things are gonna ramp up here with the Eight of Wands energy and uh, there's gonna be a choice that is gonna be made. We see a conversation, a loving conversation for improvements and changes because of a decision of delays in a reconciliation or taking a risk and making this choice to put the work or effort into it. Going further here, Sagittarius. Yeah, definitely you're getting a lot of eyeballs on you. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, a lot of uh, chemistry and passion here. Wow, we got the um, Hierophant card, marriage, long-term commitment and having to make a choice here about it. Two of Pentacles energy. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Star card, fulfillment of dreams. There, you got multiple choices here for fresh start, new opportunity, child card energy. So you guys have to make some kind of choice. You guys are not the only one too, and I, I have to remember which, which one it was. There was another sign. That's why I always tell you guys to cross watch. There was another sign that had a very similar scenario where they had to make a choice between two different people. And one was really uh, a loving choice that was leading to a long-term commitment. It seems like here, there's a conversation about this, this decision for uh, wishes and hopes or dreams here, star card energy or hopeful energy for a positive outcome. It seems there's a sense of loss because someone's been taking some time out to think about chemistry and passion. We see that there's defensive energy when it comes to love and heartache, which has caused them delays and challenges. There's something to do with their traditional value or spiritual advice or a commitment, engagement, or marriage and people that are involved with the situation. So multiple people involved. It's like, should I take a risk or a leap of faith or I don't want to be naive about these changes? I really want things to move fast. I want to communicate the fact that I want to have a reconciliation or I want to take a risk here. It's like you're going to have to weigh a choice of whether or not you want a new situation here with the child court energy. Hopeful energy about going out with someone new. We see chemistry and passion, something traditional here in making some choices or something to do with patient energy because of a commitment to engage your marriage and having to make a heavy choice. Mm. Delays here cause a heartache or three of swords. I feel like you guys have more than one choice or option coming up this month. One of them could be somebody that, you know, you're coming out of a relationship with and another person is someone new here. And it looks like you're gonna weigh this choice about it. And we see you're gonna have to take control of things to bring things into balance and have a heart to heart conversation about what you want here. Okay. All right, so let me move this out of the way, Sagittarius, and now we're gonna move into your career and finance here. Who was it? Oh my goodness, what was the sign? It wasn't Virgo, maybe it was Pisces. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. All right, so, Lover's card is the first card for the first half of the month of career and finance. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And Nine of Pentacles. Financially, you guys are going to be well off here in the beginning of the month here. It looks like you're going to have more than enough money. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy could be um, a person involved with the situation in a partnership for some of you. So you decide to have some kind of partnership or commitment to play in some politics, but you're going to get everything you want money-wise, more than enough. Okay, we see success in a commitment contract, which makes you happy, Sun card energy. Knight of Cups for the second half of the month. It looks like you guys are going to take some um, actions towards something that you really love because there's huge potential here with the Empress card energy. Empress talks about something you love and it's very abundant here. It's huge potential for a huge abundance. Knight of Pentacles tells me it's going to be slow walking. It's going to 
gonna go slow. All right, it's gonna be take a little bit longer than you expect because there's a lot of overanalyzing. Yeah, that makes sense. Clouds cards confusing because a long time or taking some time to grow because of lack of strength or control, bear card energy. And then let's see what's going on the last half here. You're gonna overcome your challenges with the Six of Swords energy because you're gonna gain clarity, Ace of Swords energy, because you're gonna wait for the right opportunity, Three of Wands energy. Stable energy or stuck energy and making a choice towards house. And for some of you, it could be real estate. Some of you, it could be a stable situation. Yeah, because the house card talks about something stable. Both of these are stable. So you're weighing the choice about this because you're trying to gain clarity of whether or not you're going to make the right choice here. Okay, so let's go through this. You're getting recognition or success because of a partnership or choice you're making. You decide to take an action, but you're a little bit confused. And so there was some stuck energy around this, but you overcame it. There's this commitment contract and you had to be wise in your decision making. You had to play politics there because there's huge potential here for abundance. And um, there's definitely some, some creative energy around this, but it's going to have to take some time. And it looks like you're going to make a choice based on this once you get the answers and the clarity. There's some things that are being revealed to you or there's a sense of happiness in you having all the money that you need. And it does look like something to do with a boss or a manager or strength or control and kind of moving towards what you want here, but taking your time and analyzing that. It looks like you'll wait for the right opportunity for this sense of stability and stableness. You see, you're going to make a, a good decision for yourself to overcome these challenges because you planned and thought about it and then you took an action to make a choice. Yeah, towards something that you love, two of cups energy. Yep, happiness is here. Material abundance and luck is on your side. You, yes, it'll make you happy. You'll be able to make the choice that's going to make you happy. All right, Sagittarius, let me now take a look at your health and wellness. Can I have some of Sagittarius' health and wellness for December 2021? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. This card again, <laughs> you know, I'm definitely feeling like this also this card is telling me uh, when I see multiple cards and sometimes the same card, it comes up and just saying to me that that's also saying to me that I have to <laughs> not take life so seriously and laughter is the best medicine. Get outside Sagittarius in the sunlight and drink some more water with the hydration card. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. There's multiple readings for you guys to check out right now. The X returns all signs is up and available for you guys to watch. Are they the one? That reading's all up and available for you guys to watch. The solar eclipse is coming up December 4th. That, that is a reading you definitely need to check out. That, is a, that, is, that definitely is a reading because it's going to affect us for a long time. And the weeklies are up and available. So for the holiday giveaway, all you have to do is put blessed and love in the comments below. I'll be picking two people. Two people for a free person reading. One person will get the holiday mystery gift box. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in another day or two.